A few hours ago, we were granted access to the brand new Vulcan blockchain website. Much anticipated, much awaited, and now we have it. So in this video, I want to share with you my thoughts on this new website, but also the three things, the three new things that I am taking from this website that perhaps I didn't know about before. So without further ado, let's go. Oh, come on in, my dear friend. Grab a pew as always, but no time for tea again today. I'm a little bit time limited, but I wanted to get this video out because, of course, it's hot news. So before I get into it all, let me just say, as I always do, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, just talking about the new website. So please do your own research. And as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please do consider doing so because it really helps to support what I do in making these videos. And also, if you can give this little video a cheeky like if you enjoy it, then that would also be appreciated. Thank you. So it's finally here. We have the website in our sweaty little palms. So before we get into the three things that I'm really taking from my first viewing of the website, I just wanted to say a couple of things about why this is so important. We have already been told by Brian that there is a marketing campaign that is about to drive over 85 million viewers to our website, which is insane. So obviously this has to be a great destination for them to go to but also let's be clear the website is not really for me or you if you're an investor long-term investor we know about Vulcan we know the tokenomics we know where to go to get information the website is very much our window display for the world for somebody who just stumbles across Vulcan and is starting to do their own research and from that perspective, this is a very important piece in the jigsaw that is Vulcan, the Vulcan blockchain, and finding new investors. And for me, this has not disappointed. And I think the joy of it really that I have taken is this is the first time we are seeing the full branding of the Vulcan blockchain in all of its glory. The colours, the style, the trailer is still there, which I absolutely love. And I just think it's now all come together into like a melting pot of what Vulcan actually is. And I think, you know, as a website, if we can imagine we're a new person, we don't know anything about Vulcan. I just think that it's incredibly easy to navigate. There's a really nice uh, get started button that takes you through to the basics, whether you're a solo investor or a developer. I really like the style. It's very clean cut. It's very, I guess, minimal in terms of the information that it holds. You know, it's not giving every single thing that is needed by an investor. They are going to have to go through to Discord to obviously read the light paper and the white paper when we have it and all of that. But the absolute essential ingredients of Vulcan are there. And I think most of all, when I think now of the branding and what that website is saying to me, it is speaking strength. It is speaking gravitas. And I, I know you might think I'm going to say this, that I love it, because of course I'm a huge enthusiast of Vulcan, but genuinely, for me, this website works and it works very, very well. But of course, the joy of us getting something like this is that we can have a little scrabble around, do our detective work and see what we can find out that we didn't know before. And certainly I'm very clear. I have found out three, three new things that I don't think I knew before. So let's just get into those. So the first thing, and one of the first things I looked at actually was the roadmap. And of course, in that, it is now clearly laying out the stages that we need to go through in order to get the launch of Mainnet. And although we don't have a definite date, of course, 
we know a minimum of 30 days, but the roadmap does give us the stages of testnet. So you'll see we have the beta testnet, which is March the 1st, which we knew about, but then we have the gamma testnet. We have the delta testnet, which will be quarter two. We have the epsilon testnet, where we'll introduce light nodes, etc. And finally, the zeta testnet, which again is quarter two. So you may ask, well, what do I know now that I didn't know before? Well, I now have a clearer view of exactly what testnet will look like and the different stages we have to go through. But crucially, I now know that mainnet will, according to the website and the roadmap, be launched in quarter two. Now we knew it wasn't going to be quarter one because we knew this was always going to spill into April. And let's be clear, quarter two is April, May, June. So we now know that mainnet will be launched by the end of June. So hopefully this will now quash some of the more pessimistic discussions in Discord about how mainnet might not be launched until September, beyond Christmas, whatever. We now have a very clear indication that we are looking at the launch of mainnet absolutely by the end of June. The second thing that I've learned is about the partnerships that have been working with the team of Uxi Labs on not just the website, but the broader picture of the development of the blockchain. So if we look at the partner section, we can see names there that we haven't come across before. We have Intention Digital Agency, we have Autonomous, and we also have Lander and Rogers, who are the law firm that have been working with the team. And again, although there's not a lot in there, you can go to the websites and look a little bit more at, at who those partners are. But for me, this absolutely crystallizes that Vulcan blockchain moved a long time ago from being a cottage industry. You know, and if you imagine that this is just, you know, the four members of Uxi Labs working on this with, with a developer that's somewhere else and, and somebody, no, this is, not only do we know there is now a very large team of actually of Vulcan behind this development, but there are these external parties that have been working with the team. So, I mean, we've known this for a while, but this just really gives us those names to, to have a look at and to understand that this is a very serious, large network of professionals that are working to get our blockchain launched. And the third thing that I have found out is that there's going to be something called the 30 day power pool. And this has set Discord on fire in the last few hours because this is a complete mystery. What on earth is a 30 day power pool? And there's all sorts of discussion going on what, what it could be. And when asked about it earlier, Brian basically said that this was new and that more news will be coming in the next few days. Oh, what is it? What is it? I have my thoughts. I have my thoughts. Undoubtedly, it will be some sort of incentive. That I don't think it's just going to be a random prize draw for anybody who wants to be in it or anything like that. It might be, I don't know. And it, you know, in that respect, it might be something that none of us have yet thought about, or something completely different. However, I am thinking more towards incentivizing that claim of flex every day. We know a little bit about the flex claim. We know that every day we need to press the claim button in order to claim our own individual share of that 1% uh, of all of the taxes. And we also know that if 100% of investors don't claim on a daily basis, that there's going to be some sort of rollover. But beyond that, I think we get a little bit vague and I think we've been trying to figure it out. Um, you know, we, we thought that that excess, uh, the balance, the excess balance of unclaimed flex would roll over to the next day. However, what I'm thinking and reading some of the Discord discussions, I really, really think that 
the team are not going to want to incentivize holding Vulcan. I mean, the, the, the very nature of the flex means that every single one of us will be interacting with the contract every day and therefore spending Vulcan. And that's what the team wants us to do. We want to, you know, this is the mechanism for increasing the volume of the blockchain. And let's be clear, a blockchain lives and dies on its volume. So I think to incentivize some sort of holding or hodling a Vulcan isn't the right thing and isn't what this is going to be. For me, the team is going to want to incentivize interacting with the contract and therefore increasing the volume of the blockchain. So perhaps, and I don't know any more than you do, but perhaps the power pool is kind of a huge rollover every month of that excess balance um, every day that isn't claimed of the flex pool. And at the end of the month, perhaps people that have claimed every day will be then rewarded at the end of the month with this excess balance. So it's encouraging everybody to claim every single day. And if you do, my God, the reward could be huge. I don't know. I think it, for me, it looks like it might, and you know, it's the use of the word pool. I don't know. It could be something about the flex pool and, and rolling it into a monthly reward. But I don't know. And I literally, I want to know. I want to know now, Brian. I want to know now. Tell me. It's killing me. Anyway. They're my ideas, my thoughts. What do you think? Is it something completely different? Is it linked with the flex? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. So that's kind of where I want to leave it today. I love it. I love the website. I think clearly it's a culmination of weeks and weeks of incredibly hard work by a lot of people. So you've smashed it out of the park yet again well done team but i'm gonna leave it there and as always i will say thank you for watching i hope to see you in my next video but for now my dear vulcans live long in prosperity and cheers live it life every day let it die not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days